Joining us now is the lawmaker leading the charge. For more information, Representative Tim Burchett. Uh, Congressman, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me on, ma'am. So we were all glued to the spirited press conference that you gave last week. Um, I think I've now reprised the use of the phrase daggummit in my everyday jargon because of you, <laughs> sir. So thank you for that. Um, we're thank one, you. We're one day away. How are you feeling? I feel good about it. You know, I, it's, my little girl is a barrel racer, and I always pray, Lord, just don't let her get hurt. And if she clears that first barrel, I say, Lord, help her, help her have a good run. And that's kind of what I hope happens here. I hope we have a good run. I would like to see some transparency <clears throat> in this. The government has continuously stonewalled us. You know, I presented legislation to the FAA, an amendment that just said if if an airline pilot, for good, <clears throat> excuse me, for goodness sakes, had um, had viewed something that he would, when he reports to the FAA, that report would be made available to Congress. Well, lo and behold, the intelligence community blocked that bill. That, that amendment, a simple amendment. And then they tell us on one hand, it, they don't exist. And then they go to extreme measures to block things. We've had witnesses back out on us uh, because of pressure. Yeah. And, um, you know, the war pimps at the Pentagon need to mind their business. And the business of the American public is, is transparency. And, and when that's you, what we need. And when you talk about, you know, witnesses have come forward and then back out, you know, as you and I have talked about before, there are a lot of Americans who are skeptical about tomorrow. They're not or they're not sure what they believe. Sure. Um, why should the American public trust these three witnesses that we're going to hear from tomorrow morning? Because they have nothing to gain and everything to lose. Um, Mr. Grush, for instance, he's a decorated combat veteran. You know, that maybe that doesn't mean a whole lot in Washington, D.C., but in but in Tennessee, it means a whole heck of a lot. Um, we we value our veterans and and these uh, the other two gentlemen are are patriotic Americans and they are really just risking criticism and retribution from their peers. And there is no reason for them to, to lie about this. I mean, there's hundreds of people that have allegedly, I guess, lied about this, have seen things. And now we have video. And I guess that's a lie as well. So, you know, the Pentagon needs to come clean. They don't need any more of our money. They lose over a billion dollars a year in their audits and nobody slaps yeah. their little fat hands. And I'm the only one raising hell about it. Well, we're and, gonna take you know, the entire know. thing live, sir. I mean, News Nation will take it from start to finish tomorrow. Um, and and a lot of people. Y'all been great about that. Thank you. Yeah, thank no, you for that. And thank you for uh, hopping on with us when <laughs> when we call you every time. Let's say the question I have been wanting to ask you since you and I spoke last week. Let's say tomorrow's hearing does bring forth change, and the government admits everything. They say, yeah, we've got aliens in the back. We've got UFOs in the back. The secret program that Grush, you know. Does exist is real, then what? What do you do with that revelation? Well, I, I think it, it would show a little bit of trust towards our government, which has continuously lied about this issue. You know, they, like I've said before, they won't even release the Kennedy assassination files. There's no one even alive in that thing. It's just a, it's just a, a habit with government to keep secrets, and it's a power trip. And with this, uh, imagine if the if if they do exist, I think they do exist. But imagine this energy source that powers these craft that we watch that defy every bit of physics that we know that that our aircraft can't keep up with. What if if that energy source was made available to the to the public? You know, we could heat our homes in the winter. We could cool them in the summer. Um, we wouldn't be fighting these these horrible wars overseas for oil. Uh, it would upset the balance, I think, and, and throw it in favor of the of, of the people instead of the uh, of, of the again the war pimps, the people that just keep us in these wars and keep getting making and, billions off of them. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.